everyone welcome back to the channel have you ever noticed how fast tech trends are changing these days just 2 years ago people were obsessed with web3 and crypto then came generative ai which changed everything overnight now everyone's talking about agentic ai cloud automation and ai powered development so in the middle of all this noise one big question keeps coming up which tech skills are actually worth learning Which jobs are going to pay well, stay relevant and have a real career in 2026 and beyond? That's exactly what we are covering today. But this video isn't just those quick ones. We are going deeper. We have divided this entire session category wise. So whether you're just a fresher or just starting out or working professional, planning a switch, we'll talk about what each role actually does, what skills do you need? and how much money you can make along with this we'll also cover which companies are hiring right now and will continue to hire this coming year before we start here's a quick announcement simply learn and purdue university bring you a powerful ai and machine learning program designed for the next wave of tech innovation from generative ai and chat gpt to llms and agentic ai you'll master the tools shaping the future guided by purdue faculty and ibm experts if you are serious about growing in ai this is your moment application closes soon start your journey today the link is given in the description box below and is mentioned in the comment section so let's jump in Let's start with one of the most in demand roles which is full stack developer. We chose this because it's one of the most versatile roles in tech. Every app or website you use whether it's Zomato, Flipkart or even Netflix need full stack developers who can manage everything from how the site looks to how it runs behind the scenes. Now, if you're wondering what that means in simple terms, front end is what you see and interact with like buttons, menus and dashboards. Back end is what makes a thing work like user authentication database and payments a full stack dev does both they are the bridge that keeps the whole system together and the pay it's pretty solid in india right now freshers earn between 5 to 8 lakhs a year while developers with 2 to 4 years of experience easily cross about 12 to 18 lakhs at top product companies like amazon microsoft or cred senior full stack engineers can earn upwards of 30 lakhs per year sometimes even more with bonuses and stock options now here's what's interesting companies love hiring full stack devs because they are bringing flexibility if tomorrow a team member quits or a new project start these developers can jump in anywhere front end back end or even deployment that's why company like tcs infosys paytm phonepe zomato and even razo pay are hiring constantly for these roles If you are a fresher start with HTML, CSS and JavaScript those are your building blocks then learn react for front end and node.js or django for the back end understand databases like mysql or mongodb and here something important don't just learn syntax but build small projects maybe create a food ordering app a personal blog or even a mini portfolio These projects speaks louder than your degree. If you already have some experience, go deeper into cloud deployment, Docker, CI/CD pipelines, and even microservices. That's where the higher-paying senior roles come from. And in 2026, these skills will stay hot because every company, whether it's a fintech startup or even a Google SaaS platform, needs developers who can take an idea from concept to live app. Now let's move on to the field that everyone's talking about, which is artificial. intelligence and machine learning why did we include this one because it's not just the future it's the present every company is raising to add ai into their products when you see netflix recommending shows chat gpt answering your questions or spiggy predicting delivery times that's ai in action ai engineers and data scientists are the people making it happen their job is to teach machines how to learn and that's what makes them so valuable in india the salary range for ai engineers and data scientists starts around 8 to 12 lakhs for freshers and within 3 to 5 years of experience it goes up to 20 to 25 lakhs at big names like google microsoft amazon tcs and nvidia senior ai engineers even cross 50 lakhs per year 
But the exciting part isn't just the pay, it's the demand. According to LinkedIn's Future of Work report, AI-related roles are expected to grow over 40% in India by 2026. That's massive. We are talking about the opportunities in AI research, automation, data science, and even roles like MLOps, where AI meets DevOps. So how can you get started? If you are a beginner, start with Python, statistics and data analysis using Pandas and NumPy, then move on to machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow or even PyTorch. Once you're confident, build a project, maybe a chatbot, a movie recommendation system or even a sentiment analysis tools. If you're already working in tech, learn how to deploy AI models and integrate them into the products. AI isn't the field where you need to be genius. You need to be curious and consistent. Start small, build things and let your portfolio do the talking. Alright, let's now talk about something that works quietly in the background, which is cloud and DevOps roles. You might not see them on your screen. These are the people who make sure your favorite app runs smoothly 24 by 7. When you are binge watching Netflix or making a UPI payment on your phone pay, it's DevOps and cloud engineers who keep those systems running behind the curtain. And because every company is moving to cloud infrastructure, the hiring boom here is massive. Amazon, which has AWS, Microsoft with Azure and even Google Cloud, are constantly onboarding engineers for deployment, scaling and automation work. Even Indian tech giants like Infosys, Capgemini and Tech Mahindra have a huge cloud migration projects. In India, freshers in cloud or DevOps roles earn about 6 to 10 lakhs, while experienced professionals makes up to 15 to 25 lakhs. And senior engineers at product-based firms can hit up to 40 to 50 lakhs. Globally, these roles are in the top 10 most sought-after skills according to Gartner. If you are just starting, begin by learning the basics of AWS or GCP, try deploying a small web app and get familiar with Docker and Kubernetes. For experienced folks, learn CI-CD pipeline, Terraform and infrastructure as code tools. And if you want an edge, go for certifications like AWS Solutions, Architecture or Google Cloud Engineer. They make a real difference during the interviews. The reason this field will never go out of style is simple. Every app, every business, every AI models runs on cloud. So as long as we are running the internet, DevOps and cloud engineers will remain indispensable. Next up is cybersecurity and trust me, this one's becoming crucial day by day. Because as tech grows, so do the threats. From phishing attacks to data leaks, companies are getting hit every single day and they're willing to pay top money for people who can protect their systems. Cybersecurity experts act like a digital bodyguard. They analyze risk, secure networks, and ensure that your data stays safe. And companies are willing to pay for peace of mind. In India, entry-level cybersecurity analyst earns up to 6 to 9 lakhs, mid-level professionals make around 15 to 25 lakhs, and senior architecture in firms like IBM, Deloitte, and Cisco can go beyond 40 lakhs per year. Globally, cybersecurity has a projected shortage of over 3 million skilled professionals by 2026, which means if you learn it, now you'll be one of the safest careers out there. To get started, you don't need any CS degree. Learn basic networking, ethical hacking and data privacy. For working pros, certifications like CEH, ComCA, Security Plus and CISSP can fast track your journey. It's one of those fields where your curiosity and problem-solving mindset matter more than your marks. Finally, let's talk about slightly different role, which is a technical product manager. We added this because it's becoming one of the most powerful and respected jobs in tech right now. A technical project manager is someone who sides between developers, designers and business leaders. They decide what should be built, how it should be built and to make sure the final product actually solves a real problem. Think of them as directors directors of the movie. They might not write the code, but they make sure the story comes together. Salaries here are quite impressive. A fresher or associate PM earns around 12 lakhs, mid-level professionals makes about 18 to 25 lakhs, and senior PM at companies like Google, Zoho or Amazon can make up to 40 to 50 lakhs per year. If you are a fresher, start by learning Agile, Scrum and how product development works. If you are already in tech role, learn how to handle project strategy, customer 
customer research and AI driven product features. The best PM are just not tech experts, they're storytellers who understand users and business goals. So, those were the top categories where most of the high paying and in demand tech jobs are coming from. And if there is one thing you should take away from this, it's that don't chase every trend. Pick a field that actually excites you, go deep and master it. If you're a fresher, start small, build project, learn the basics and get your hands dirty. If you're experienced, double down on specialization. And no matter what, focus on communication and teamwork. Companies hire skilled people, but they promote great communicators. So that's a wrap on today's session. We talked about money, skills, demand and growth all in one place. If you want a separate video on how to build your roadmap for any of these roles, which is AI, cloud or cybersecurity, drop it in the comment section below. Till then, keep learning with Simply Learn.